B Strength TV show is brought to you by Vanguard Assurance and CBC Properties Global Limited. Hello, you out there. My name is Ernest DeGraff Tejil, the founder and CEO of Ghana CEO Summit. Every business needs a good platform to grow. Every business owner needs a platform to learn from others. I strongly recommend you watch this trend. It's the best. Welcome to CBC Properties Global Limited. CBC is a registered company based in Accra, East Lagos. We are specialized in planning and marketing of large pieces of developed and undeveloped land for commercial and residential purposes. We currently have available residential villa, family home, apartment building, apartment land for commercial or office. We equally have property for sale or rent. Contact CBC Properties on 0303 935 313 or 0262 898 686. Visit our website www.cbcgonalimited.com. Buy or renew your motor insurance policy from Vanguard Assurance, your only CIMG Hall of Fame insurer, and get a free water resistance certificate card. Don't say insurance. Say Vanguard Assurance, the only CIMG Hall of Fame insurer in Ghana. We always stand by you. Hi, welcome to Be Insurance TV Show. My name is Anyanam K. Makwanda. My costume is by Kia Umani Clothing. Follow her on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We are coming to you from Paloma Hotel on the Spences Road. Our cocktail is from Atencom Bar and Restaurant. So pass by for relaxation, meetings, conferences, wedding receptions, honeymoon. Just pass by and feel comfortable. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as Base Trends TV Show. Tonight, we are not discussing any new business, but we are rather discussing the Young Entrepreneurs Awards and awards platform created to reward very hard-working young people who are working and doing exceptional in their own way. And the president, the president is here to tell us all about that award. It's in the person of Mr. Solomon Ejay. Before I engage him in this conversation, let's take a quick look at his profile. When we come back, the conversation begins. Don't go anywhere. Mr. Solomon Ejay is an IT professional with vast experience in IT system design, development and implementation, business and project management, corporate networking and youth entrepreneurship development. He is a holder of certificate in business and computer studies and certificate in journalism from the Ghana Institute of Journalism. Mr. Ejay is the founder and the executive producer for Youth Business Network Foundation. Welcome back. You are still watching Be Trends TV show. Mr. J. Hi. It's also meeting you again. Yeah. Same here. Big man. <laughs> now, before we, we go into the awards, mm. let's talk about Youth Business Network. All right. So, the Youth Business Network is a network of young and potential entrepreneurs. Um, it's practically made up of people who are doing their own business between the age of 15 and 40 years. Okay. All we do is to put ourselves together as an association where we meet periodically to discuss issues, share ideas, network, you know, and then do whatever that we need to do to right. build our businesses up, right. you know, and, and then the progress on the entrepreneurial journey. Right. How, how long has Youth Business Network been in existence? Oh, since 2014. Since 2014. Yeah. So, so I suppose it's three years now. Right. So, so far, uh, you've been meeting yes. different entrepreneurs, sure. having discussion, networking, and all that. I mean, going back to visit those people, mm. what improvement have you realized in their businesses? 
Well, practically, um, most of the people that we, we were working with, the people who actually came on board when they were not doing business. Okay. They maybe had ideas. Right. Some had are just unemployed people who were just there. I mean, confused people mm. out there, I should say. Yeah. But then, through what we do, mm -hmm. we're able to help them to discover ideas. Okay. And help them with an accessible, I mean, accessible thing that whatever they need to start the business and run it properly. Right. You know, and I mean, it's, it's good to say that so far we have about 200 people in the wow. network. And most of them are doing very well. Okay. I mean, that we have a series of topics right. that about from customer service to financing to mm -hmm. networking mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. investment mm -hmm. and to, I mean, partnerships, mm -hmm. a lot of things that we have discussed over the years. Wow. And it, it's really helped members to improve on their okay. business. And okay. And, okay. Yeah. What sparked the idea of mm. Young Entrepreneurs Awards? Well, great. Um, like I was saying earlier on, the network have a program that we run. Um, every year, we will meet what we call the Young Entrepreneur Summit. We've done it for the past um, two years, two editions already. So this year, we thought of adding on to a different level. And so we thought of, why don't you celebrate those who are doing it well? Well, we all know that in Ghana at the moment, the system is not too favorable. Yeah. There are harsh conditions mm -hmm. and all that. I mean, the system where we have even graduates who are forming them, Unemployed associations, exactly. and stuff. But out of all this, there are some people who defy all the odds exactly. and go beyond mm. every obstacle and start their businesses and run it and are running it very well. So, why don't we take time to celebrate them? Then it will motivate the rest to also go into the land of entrepreneurship. So, the idea basically was finding ways of being to celebrate the practice entrepreneurs, mm. then to motivate the youth to take up entrepreneurial roles. And that was the the, the, the genesis of the whole show. Wow. Yeah. So, recently, or well, let me say some few weeks, mm. you launched the nominee mm. uh, who were all nominated for this award. Yeah, sure. And uh, I'm one of them. Oh, yeah. Thank you and your team. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But, you know, let, let, let's talk about the key stakeholders who are involved in this award. Yeah, so we actually launched the whole show in um, May. Okay. May this year, that was, yeah. was launched. Mm -hmm. And then we had the minister, deputy minister for employment with us. And then we have the uh, NYA and the IPC people with us who launched it. And then we run through nomination, was opened and all that. So we've been working with the Ministry of Employment. Okay. And then the GRPC. Right. We have the just found now they're called the National Entrepreneurship Innovation Plan. Yeah. They renamed, I mean, rebranded mm -hmm. yeah. now. And then we have the NYA with okay. us, and then we have the NBSSI, that's the National Board for Small Scale Industries. Okay, so industries. all those people yes, they're are... they're all collaborating right. with us to make it. I mean, this is a, this is a national program. Okay. You see, they all agree to the fact that we need to celebrate those two. To encourage it, them. To encourage, you know, so, I mean, when you speak with them, I mean, no one just shake their head. The moment you speak with them, they're like, we're on board. You know, so we're having them all collaborating with us to make sure that this program is, is nationally celebrated, you know, and... Um, and yeah. all, how many people, um, how many nominations did you get and how, how, how many have you streamlined down to? Oh, that's a big question. In okay. fact, since, I mean, from May that the time was launched, we had a nomination open online. Yeah. And then why yeah, was just come, we had about 1,005 or so nominations coming through. Oh, There I was see. plenty. Wow. In fact, we had a committee right. set up to handle that aspect. Okay. And so they had a tough job. I right. mean, they had a very tough job. You know, you need to call all these people, they send their details and all that, and it was a whole... Mm -hmm. I thought they would need to trim them down. Mm -hmm. So they did trim it down, mm -hmm. and then um, we had about 60 or so people. Wow, even 60 is not a, yes. an easy number. Exactly, it's right. not, you know, so, I mean, we need to stream, we, we, can, you can, we wish we could have award everybody, okay. but that's not possible. So how many categories you know? are we looking at? Um, we have 13 categories so far. Okay, 13, 13 categories. Yes. And uh, can you let us in into some of there those categories? There are 13 and some other honorary categories as well. So in all, we should have like 16, okay. 16 but there's some that are not being voted for. Right. Yes. Okay. Run us through the categories. Oh, we, first and foremost, we have the, what we call the Outstanding Entrepreneur of the Year. Okay. That is the, the top most award. Okay. All right. Then we have the Phoebe Entrepreneur of the Year. Mm -hmm. We have the Male Entrepreneur of the Year. We have the Disability Entrepreneur of the Year for male and female. We've got the Celebrity Entrepreneur of the Year, male and female. We have the Student Entrepreneur of the Year, male and female. We have the Startup of the Year, male and female. And then we have um, 
Social Entrepreneur of the Year. And then we have YBN Entrepreneur of the Year. Okay. And then that's for male and female. Right. But that is specially reserved for YBN members. That's a youth business okay. network members. Members. Okay. Right. Yes. Yo, we are it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, I mean, those are some of the categories that, okay. uh, that we, we run with. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we have the SME Financier of the Year. Okay. We have SME Support Platform of the Year. Okay. And that is that's my where you category. Are. Yes, that's where you are. All right. Yes. And then we have the Mentor of the Year. <laughs> okay. You know. You've mentioned the category. Mm. and uh, some of them are also annoying and all that you've mentioned the stakeholders involved but mm. in case someone is watching us right now and mm. want to go on your website mm. and then vote for mm. us how do they go about the procedure please take us through well so basically just log on to their website okay. www.yeawards.com mm -hmm. y for young e for entrepreneur okay then awards.com mm -hmm. and then you, you when well, once you log on there you have access to a whole lot of information you can read what that word is about who I mean, who are our supporting partners are the the categories that are being voted for. I mean, then who are the nominees, and then how they were chosen, and then a lot of information. Then the key one, as you ask, vote now. Okay. So when you go to vote session, I have all the links to all the categories. You click on the category, it opens a place where you can vote. Each person have got just one vote. Okay, you can vote more than no one. If you vote, you can vote more than one. But it will be different it. categories. Okay. So let's say you can go and you can choose um, uh, SME platform, mm -hmm. you vote mm -hmm. for best trends. Okay. You can then go back and choose female entrepreneur of the year. And vote. And vote. Okay, so that's how it goes. Yes. You cannot vote for twice for best trends. Okay. okay. With the same PC, okay. you will be rejected. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's how it is. Okay. Mr. J, I, mm. I want to ask a very significant question. There mm. have been a lot of, a couple of awards mm. celebrating entrepreneurs and all that, but what makes YEA awards unique? Mm. Well, particularly what we're doing is a national assignment. Okay. All right. So if, if you are on this awards platform and you win any of these awards, you are short of a national recognition. Okay. Okay. We want to celebrate the entrepreneurs. You know, there are many awards, as you say, mm -hmm. but uh, there has not been any, any award that specially recognizes entrepreneurs below 40 years of age mm. that is celebrating the youth. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Unemployment is a big issue now in the system. So we, we, I mean, we need to do what that we can to move the youth to exactly. get them to, I mean, getting something doing. Right. I mean, everybody just uh, complete school, carry their CVs, go look for a job. The yeah. jobs are not even there. Yeah. The best way for us, we think we need to go now is to start our own business. Okay. And so we're doing this mm -hmm. to motivate to celebrate, mm -hmm. to inspire mm -hmm. generations mm -hmm. to come. So that you know that, okay, if I can do A, B, C, and D, I may be celebrated. Mm -hmm. I can be, I mean, I, so then that pushes you to move in and do it. Mm -hmm. you know, and as part of the winning story, we have got all sort of I mean, benefits for, for, for even though they're dominies, not okay. just the, the winners, okay. the dominies. Okay. So, I mean, we have, we have chance to get your products or your business advertised on many platforms. Mm -hmm. We have financial i mean um support stuff coming in okay we've got investment package i mean i right. should say coming in we've got mentors coming it's not some people we have businesses but they fail because of of mentors mm. Mm. you know they, they they think it will work mm -hmm. they go in and then they fail okay but if you have someone who tells you that look i've been there yeah it didn't work for me here yeah so you use here the, right the invention of okay, so, so we have mentors mm -hmm. coming on board mm -hmm. who, that's the very critical point okay most of us youth don't regard that aspect okay. we think mm -hmm. once i have my my money i have my brain i can do all it it doesn't work like that's that. why they go you see them today mm -hmm. they're hitting yeah. tomorrow they're off track exactly. because they didn't do something right okay so we bring people on board who right. have got expertise who have who have seen it before to guide us through you know so there's a lot of, of things that we are we are bringing on board to to, to celebrate you and then to inspire you okay. to guide your business to okay. to be in business not just to start but just to right. be in business right yeah. so this awards is not only to celebrate you but also to guide you it's time for the vanguard assurance safety tips moment take a look at that we'll be back to continue the conversation Vanguard Assurance Safety Tips, brought to you by Vanguard Assurance. Okay, my name is Dr. Gion Aminyado, the Executive Vice Chairman of Vanguard Assurance Company. Limited. Hello, up there. Welcome to Vanguard Assurance Safety Tips. Uh, today we are discussing Vanguard uh, Travel Insurance. Now, the world is a global village now, and it's a delight when you have to travel 
go on a holiday or you are going on a conference outside. Because, see, when you think globally and act locally, you are always above the competition. So it's important that every year, as a business owner, you try to find out that same thing you are doing. How is it done outside? Are you a media, media presenter? You want to learn how it's done outside? Make slight changes and you are up there. So whatever business is this, you need to travel outside to go and learn, go on holiday, refresh yourself. Now, going outside carries a lot of risk. As you're traveling outside, you're going to a place where unfamiliar territory, if you want to call it. Um, if you what happens, dear ones are not around to come in there. You have to go and see the doctor. Meanwhile, we all know that traveling is good, but it's also very expensive, especially in the medical bills. So that's where travel insurance comes in. When you're going, some countries make it compulsory, like the Shigian countries, it's a requirement for visa. But even if it's not compulsory, you have to think about it because of the reason I gave. You are not well during that time. You are in an unfamiliar territory. Who do you call? Who counts around? But when you have your travel insurance around, you can visit any hospital. In case things do happen where, well, less, we pray that it doesn't happen. But what about if something happens so bad, there's an accident that you are no longer alive? How is your cost being able to bring back home? Travel insurance covered all these things. And of late, the for Vandal Assurance, we have developed new product that even covered loss of baggage, delay of baggage. Uh, you have arrived, but like it happened to me some time ago, the very first time I was traveling to, to Gambia, I was so excited, I didn't sleep the whole night. And uh, I packed all my things, we're going for a course for a year. But I arrived and none of my things arrived. And what happens? I have to go to town and spend an additional money looking for clothes. That put my budget on the street. Let that not be you. Always take uh, Vanguard travel insurance. So as soon as such a thing happens, compensation will be paid to you. At times also, your passport may, may get lost. This also, compensation comes under. So travel insurance is really very, very good. And Vanguard is a pioneer in the travel insurance. We have three different products for the different pockets. So whoever you are, whether big, small, you will always be able to find a travel insurance policy for Vanguard that meets your pocket. Even if you're a student, we, our packages are good for you. And the good thing is that we have we have network with other people, hospitals, and um, um, underwriters worldwide uh, who pay uh, the hospital bill. You don't have to come down and uh, looking for pay it first before you is funded. So I want to welcome you and that take Vanguard Travel Insurance today. Travel Insurance is um, easy to access, and as Dr. Amelia said, it's easy for each and everybody's pocket. So whether you are a higher class or middle income person, you can actually access it once you are traveling and it's easy. Once again, if, if um, in terms of health wise, when you go there you are not well, Vanguard Travel Insurance will set in place to compensate you. Access to this product is very, very important. It's a very wonderful product, good. Just like my colleague, the broker has said, and the broker committee likes it so much. Now, you can access it through all the brokers that we have, our agents, even working clients to the head office. Beyond that, we have the Vanguard app. You just have to download it. So in the comfort of your home, you can sign on to Vanguard products and all that personal lines that we, we have. So, don't be left out. Take out Vanguard. Have a Welcome back. You're still watching the Beach Trans TV show. And today, I'm chit-chatting with Mr. Solomon Ajay, the president of the Youth Business Network and the brain behind YE Awards happening next month right here in Ghana. <laughs> Mr. AJ, <laughs> Mr. AJ, um, now you've unveiled the nominees. Yeah. What next? What is happening now? Well, so last Friday we unveiled the nominees okay. at the Rata Hotel. Yeah. Afterwards, mm -hmm. we had opened the nomination, I mean the voting process. Okay. So voting process is ongoing now. That's currently. Currently ongoing now. Okay. And people are voting. Mm -hmm. If you're not started voting now, then hey, you're, you're getting late. Okay. We're voting now on yeawards.com. Okay. Voting is going to be from now till the end of this month. Okay. This is so one month to vote. All right. So after the voting, mm -hmm. I mean it's closed. Mm -hmm. The tabulation team will do all those works, right. and then at the end of the day, we have a committee. The committee that is set up from key institutions like a JPC, okay. all, all our collaborative partners, okay. the bringing people, key right. people, 
to form a committee okay. that would then sit on the and then decide. Mm. Based on a document that we see from your company, mm -hmm. you provided uh, company A, B, C, D, you are doing this, you employ five, you are, your annual income was this, or this, and this, and that, coupled by the vote that you get. Okay. And then the committee would then decide, okay, based on all that, yeah. could you deserve to own award A? Okay. I might go to award B, okay. and stuff like that. Okay. So the process, as, as it is now, the public voting, it ends. Has started committee, yeah, and so it's ending. Once it ends at the end of the month, right. the committee sits on it yeah. and then they decide who and who becomes the winners. Okay. And then we move from there. Then the mm -hmm. final show mm -hmm. will happen, God willing. The on main 28th. night yes. of October. Of October. Yeah, okay. 28th October. Okay. That's where the main thing will happen. Right. Yes. So we are looking forward to that night. Exactly. 28th October. Exactly. It's going to be a big night. Oh, yes. <laughs> In fact, it's, it's going to be the biggest night of, of, of entrepreneurs in Ghana. Okay. I mean, young, young entrepreneurs in Ghana. Okay. The biggest night ever. It never okay. happened before. But you know, I, I wanted to ask something. Mm. Why have you go to that limit? I mean, uh, 40, that is your cutoff point. Why? Yeah, that? because the, the focus is the youth. Okay. Which is, I mean, the youth will define the youth as 35, but we chose to go 40 years. Okay. We have our own class of youth. Right. It's 40 years. Okay. You know, so we are, we are doing 40 years <laughs> to m motivate the youth mostly. Right. Okay. It's a youth. That I want to motivate. That's okay. why we had a cutoff point. Right. All right. So, viewers, you're hearing it for yourself. The brain behind this awards, the president of Youth Business Network, Mr. AJ, is saying they want to motivate the youth. Hence, the cutoff point at 40. Mr. AJ, what should be our expectations come next month, 28? Um, as in the nominees or the public? The public? Uh, other entrepreneurs who are looking forward to be nominated next year, that is 2018, what should be our expectation? Well, it, the, the night of the war is going to be a very great event, and it's actually going to be a night of networking, especially bringing all the young, I mean, top business guys between that age okay. range to uh, get that at, at one place, okay. you know, to, to you know, network mm -hmm. and then get a chance to also meet top people who we are, we are wanting to attend. Okay. We, we have other. See, I mean, serious business people, sitting guys who are about 40 years, okay. who are coming down right. to join us. So it's going to be a, a night full of, you know, networking and basically networking and then celebration. Okay. And, you know, excitement okay. and fun as well. Right. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a night of networking, celebration, and then as well as getting to know new people, how best you can develop your business and all that. You're still watching the Australian TV show. Up next is a business code segment. We'll be back to wrap up the conversation. Stay and stay. The days of fear and confusion when you lose your home and its valuable contents are over. Take the Vanguard Happy Home Insurance Policy today and enjoy a free legislation insurance cover to protect you and your family against injuries which are sustained in the kitchen. Other benefits of the policy are replacement of your building and its contents if damaged by fire, flood, lightning, earthquake or windstorm. Compensation to replace stolen property following a burglary. A free personal accident cover of 2,000 Ghana cities for any domestic accident resulting in injury. The Vanguard Happy Home. You can never go wrong with it. I am Papa V, your most trusted insurance advisor. Welcome to CBC Properties Global Limited. CBC is a registered company based in Accra, East Lagos. We are specialized in planning and marketing of large pieces of developed and undeveloped land for commercial and residential purposes. We currently have available residential villa, family home, apartment building, apartment land for commercial or office. We equally have property for sale or rent. Contact CBC Properties on 0303-935-313 or 0262-898-686. Visit our website www.cbcgranatlimited.com
Welcome back. You're still watching this Trends TV show. Remember, this Trends TV show has been nominated for the SMA support platform. So log on to www.yeawards.com and select our category and vote for us because we need your vote so we can emerge as the winner and continue to bring you more CEOs, more SME CEOs who are enlightening you, who is also looking forward to becoming an entrepreneur. Mr. Ajay, before I wrap up on the conversation, mm. how long should we look forward to the YAA Awards? Oh, as long as Ghana is alive. Mm -hmm. Yes, if Ghana is alive, this award will come on uh, every year. I mean, it has come and it's come to stay. Okay. Every year, this award will happen. So far as we have life, it okay. will happen. Okay. Your final words to young entrepreneurs who uh, were not. I shouldn't say they are not lucky, but who didn't get nominated mm. for this year, mm. but are hoping to get nominated for next year. What should they do right to be among this group, or what should they be doing right? To, to well, first and foremost, I think we need to say that the fact that you didn't get nominated doesn't mean that you are not doing well, okay. or you don't deserve to be celebrated or okay. honored in the first place. Mm. I realize some people actually step out when they realize they, they were not nominated at a nomination I mean, night, and I felt bad. Okay. Some businesses had started way back like five years that was registered just this year okay so you you confirm that you should put him at a startup category or as the other category that we're dealing with businesses that start up i mean okay. who are I mean, registered business right. but if your business is not registered mm -hmm. then of course you, you you may meet i mean you, you wouldn't meet the category, the, category. The, the criteria i should okay. say you know so i mean Many, 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 many companies were sidelined, not mm -hmm. because they were not good, mm -hmm. but because they didn't meet certain criteria, okay. and, and that is it. So as okay. we move on, okay. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll go together. You may not get it this year, mm -hmm. but next year you'll be in the category, you'll be selected, mm -hmm. and then all of us could celebrate together. So yes, you may not be nominated this year. It doesn't mean that you're not good. Mm -hmm. Keep on doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And by the grace of God, mm -hmm. next year, next mm -hmm. two years, next five years, mm -hmm. she will come on board, mm -hmm. and then we'll celebrate you as well. Okay. So join those who have been nominated now. Right. Let's celebrate them together. Okay. And then when it comes to your turn, right. they also join to celebrate you. Okay. Yes. Thank so you. So join those who have been nominated now. Vote for them. Celebrate with them. Mm -hmm. Come on the awards night and help them enjoy. See, if today you're not part, next year you'll be part. We came to you from Paloma Hotel, a cocktail from a combined restaurant. Pass by for your honeymoon conferences, a wedding reception. Come and eat both the local and continental dishes you want. They are on the Spinters will just after KFC. My costume is by Ikea Omanye Clothing. Look for her on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as Ikea Omanye Clothing. Remember to vote for Be Strength TV Show. Log on, on to www.yeawards and then look for the SME support platform. That is our category. And select Be Strength TV Show and then vote for us because we'll come here next month, God willing, with our work to celebrate with you. Other than Mr. Yeah. Day, I'll see you again. Wonderful. Maybe if not on these trends, on our work night. Always available. All right, all Always the best. Available. Thank you Thank so you. much Thank for passing through.